Yeah, what time are we in? Well, okay, 21st of December 2012 came and went, okay? So I think a lot of people really need to shut the fuck up about a lot of scare tactic things that we've been seeing. I mean, think about it. Um, I've lived through 1984. Remember George Orwell's dystopic uh, novel of uh, what a future authoritarian state would look like. And uh, many people were looking forward to the future, thinking, oh, it's 1984, it's 1984. As though when 1984 came along, something momentous was going to happen and um, everything was going to change. I mean, the only thing that we can really take from George Orwell's uh, 1984 is the fact that, yes, there are street cameras, there are cameras on every street corner watching our moves. And um, there are other forms of triangulation that you can do with these cameras to create 3D imaging. And there were microphones and so forth, um, amazing stuff that I've been hearing um, in terms of what's out there on the street right now. Um, I know there are microphones in some of them in Tottenham so they can try and tri triangulate gunshots when they, when, when, when one of their rogue, when one of the police rogue Negroes goes off the reservation and starts killing normal people, well, you know, they need to track him down really quickly because, you know, it's not normal criminals. There are very few normal criminals that go around hurting other people. But right now, there are only the ones that I would call state-sponsored. Um, we lived through 1984, nothing happened there. Then there was 2000, do you remember that? The Millennium Bug, uh, just after the Columbine shootings in 1999, which I thought was kind of going to be a prelude to something big. Um, you know, everyone was told about the Millennium Bug. You know, you had uh, the Hebrew Israelites in New York at the time saying uh, the Lord will return and, 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 and before, before the year 2000. Unfortunately, that was... Um, that was uh, memorialized in uh, the uh, Louis Theroux uh, black nationalist documentary uh, where you saw Comfy on camera, okay? Uh, Comfy was just on camera at the time. He wasn't a paid up, fully cooned out member of the uh, Illuminati strike force trying to lead niggas astray. No, man was on the camera at the time. So, you know, 2000 came and went, okay? And I, I takes me back to when I was a kid and I was, uh, I've, I've always been interested in history. And I remember, um, studying the Roman, uh, what would you call it, uh, when the Romans surrounded Masada, the siege of Masada, okay, and I remember the documentary and it had the, the white actors as Romans and then it had the white actors as the Jews and I was thinking, this doesn't make sense because, you know, there were stories of cannibalism and so forth going on, people were eating their own babies and so forth and I, I thought to myself, well, if they're white and the Romans are white, you know, and you want to escape, why don't you just kill a few Romans, don their gear and then just walk out? Oh, because there was a massive colour difference. But anyway, we'll get around to that in a minute. So I remember uh, at the time I was I, I was confused. That was the very same year where I was confused. I remember being confused. Hang on a second. These Jews, these warrior Israelites are surrounded by Romans and they're the same colour as the Romans. Uh, so... I remember reading a book and I remember reading about um, Nostradamus and his prediction of war in the East. I mean, that was supposed to be 2012. 2012, yeah. But anyway, so, so war in the East in 2012. And um, then I remember thinking, well, that could actually be the... That sounds more like the appropriate time for the end of the world. Why should it end on a nice round zero, zero, zero? That doesn't really make sense. And then, you know, so we had the prediction of Nostradamus in 2012. Then we also had the, the Mayan calendar, which was supposed to end on 2012, but never really meant the end of the world. And, and all of the plethora of YouTube videos that are out there. Oh, 2012, gonna end. I mean, who remembers the Olympics? Do you know how many videos I got through the Olympics? There's going to be a terrorist attack. 30 to 40,000 people killed in a dirty bomb. Do you remember all of that shit? So it's constantly been hype, 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 hype. Now, the wise man will just observe the times and the seasons and the changes. The fool will be told and be given a date, okay? But the wise man will see things heating up slowly, heating up, heating up. No, it's like, it's like stretching an elastic band. You know there's going to be that inevitable snap. I don't know if you want to call it the financial cliff. We are certainly in the midst of the double dip of the double dip recession. I remember having a conversation with my boss about a year ago, two years ago, in fact, 
When he said, no, listen, listen, debate, I don't think you should be doing anything like that. I think this is going to be a double dip recession. Don't don't go all bohemian and, and, and run away from your job because you, you might need the money. And my goodness, oh, it, 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 it's, oh, by the way, how are, you, how are your shootings coming along in America? How are those school shootings coming along? Is everyone so sufficiently sad and and, 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 and and giving news articles and, and, and not believing that such a thing could happen here because it's supposed to happen where in Detroit, yeah? It's supposed to happen in Chicago, yeah? That's where these killings are supposed to You have to read between the lines when you hear people in some suburban Sandy Hook Batman town saying... Uh, Aurora, oh, it's in the movie, it's in the movie, go watch the movie, it's in there, there's no conspiracy thing, it's in there, so, but when they say things like, uh, oh, this shouldn't have happened here, I'm so sad, I mean, what, why, what, 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 because it's supposed to happen where niggas reside, right, got to read between the lines, people stop being scared, stop being given a time by someone else, but this means that you have to now start looking and researching for yourself. But then, as if you look at the numerous other videos that I've done, I actually said that, uh, you know, NATO were going to... Remember, the North Atlantic Treaty, the North Atlantic... Remember when you did history, and you did modern world history, 20th century history, and you did about, and, you know, the Russians and the Cold War, and, and then Europe set up NATO as, as a combined defence against the might of Russia. Yeah, the North Atlantic Treaty Organisation. What the fuck are you doing in Africa? Uh, but, but, you, but, you know, niggas don't pay attention to that shit. Niggas just go, Obama! Obama! As Obama goes into Africa and deposes one of the most economically stable, highest standard of living countries in Africa, which was Libya. Um, uh, run by, I would say, by a great man like Gaddafi. I would say a great man like Gaddafi. Anyone else? If you don't agree with me. You know what? Fuck off. You will be first in the camps because no one paid for electricity. Healthcare was free. You wanted to be a farmer, they'd give you all the tools and the land. You know all of that stuff. Okay, you know, if, 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 if there was something that you wanted to study and they, there, were, there were no universities who could provide that service for you in Libya, the Libyan government would fund your education overseas. All of this, oh, black people in North Africa had the highest standard of living on the face of the planet Earth. Bar, listen, bar your occasional sellout coon, ball bouncing, yeah, football throwing Negro in America who earned shit loads of money because of his size and size and build, nigga fucking large, yeah, but doesn't have one brain cell, two brain cells to rub together when it comes to the advancement of his own people. You will take all of that wealth and squander it in, within one family because you have clearly pulled the ladder up and you have no interest in the rest of your people. What's the other thing? Before I get back onto the gun thing, yeah, what was um, what's um, Fifty Cent doing? What's Fifty Cent doing in Somalia? Fifty Cent's in Africa at the moment. Come over here. What are you doing in Africa, nigger? Yeah, why why aren't you in New York, nigger? Yeah, why aren't you in Queens? Why aren't you in Brooklyn? Why aren't you somewhere where other black people? Why don't you go take your ass to fucking Detroit? Take your ass to Chicago? Yeah, I'm gangster. Yeah, and sort that shit out. Come on, because, you know, I'm about to go onto YouTube and there's other people, gangster disciples, need to save her. Cool guy, don't give a flying fuck what any criminal entity has to say, whether or not they were being shut down by the Pope or not. I don't give a fuck. You're the enemy of my people. You create the negative uh, crime-ridden circumstances in which young babies and old women get killed. Um, before you pick up a book, read something and create a fucking job, nigger, which is what hip-hop was, yeah, and uh, don't even let me start there, because hip-hop ain't going to be, hip-hop will belong to European society, civilization, within my lifetime, that's how bad you guys have got, I have to really start thinking that black Americans are becoming the enemy, they are negropeans, they are negropeans, Okay, now don't get me wrong, there are certain enlightened Americans who I respect incredibly and I will have a lot of time for and listen to. And there's certain people that have been making videos, um, they're the elders of GMS, 
my goodness. I mean, I'd be lost in the world if um, if, if I hadn't met them. I, I'd be, put it this way, I'd be spiritually compassless. Okay, at least my my north is pointing in the right direction. I'm pointing spiritual north due to those guys and the amount of study, the amount of history, the amount of history books that I've read off the back of that. I mean, no wonder that you're bringing out films like Asher to try and portray Hebrew Israelites in a negative light because Hebrew Israelites require study. It requires you to study, requires you to read books, requires you to understand the, the, the signs of the times, get a little bit of economic knowledge under your belt, uh, um, understanding how the financial system is run, understanding who is running the financial system. I remember having some altercations some time ago with, so, oh, I'm not even going to mention any names, and they were saying that I'm following all of these guys. What am I following these guys? Only 30 seconds later for the elders to turn around and say, look at these guys. If you want to give you have no idea, look at these guys. Uh, but, you know, so, I mean, I, I, I know I've been pointing in the right direction. I know I've consistently been pointing in the right direction. <laughs> but with 93% of black Americans voting Obama in again, uh, well, I, I, I mean, look, I mean, uh, the, with the with the black with the black death squads that he unleashed in Libya, I have to say, you guys are on another planet. You're in cloud fucking cuckoo land, man. But my whole thing was the shootings. Praise the Lord. Fair praise God. Praise God. Because you know this is just a form of manifest destiny. It's a form of manifest destiny. Um, because this was outlined, someone said this was going to happen some time ago, of the uh, essential books that I believe any enlightened mind should read is included uh, Behold a Battle Horse by William Cooper. Now, I've said that a hundred people will go, oh, I know, Behold, blah, blah. I'm talking to the Dimbo or Bimbo, okay, who has probably never heard that book title before, Behold a Pale Horse. It's written by a guy called William Cooper, who's uh, inside the American government uh, to an extremely large extent, uh, I want to say to an extremely secretive extent, and then came out and started writing all the stuff that he knew, and there were numerous attempts made on his life, they blew his legs off, something like that. He was paraplegic for a while in a wheelchair, and finally got him, he's dead. However, if we go to chapter 12, page 225 of Behold a Pale Horse, uh, chapter entitled The Secret Government. The government encouraged the manufacture and importation of military firearms for the criminals to use. Um, Fast and Furious. Um, oh my gosh, hang on a second. This, oh no. Babe, I'm just doing something. I'll call you back in 30 seconds, okay? All right. Okay, so... The government encouraged the manufacture and importation of military firearms for the criminals to use. This is intended to foster a feeling of insecurity, which would lead the American people to voluntarily disarm themselves by passing laws against firearms. Hmm, so, sounding familiar at all, Americana. Right. Using drugs and hypnosis, listen, using drugs and hypnosis on mental patients in a process called Orion. <laughs> right. The CIA in, inculcated the desire, inculcated, I don't usually come across that word, um, the CIA inculcated the desire in these people to open fire on schoolyards <gasps> and thus inflame the antigen lobby. Ant antigen? Anti-gun anti lobby. Oh my gosh. Um, I'll go over that again. Using drugs and hypnosis on mental patients uh, in a process called Orion. The CIA inculcated the desire of these people to open fire on schoolyards and thus inflame the desire and thus inflame the anti-gun lobby. The plan is well underway and so far is working perfectly. The middle class is begging the government to do away with the Second Amendment. Hmm, when was this written? Oh, due to the wave of crime sweeping the nation, the media will convince the American people that a state of anarchy exists within the major cities. They are now building their case almost nightly on TV and daily in the newspapers. When the public opinion has been won to this idea, they, this idea, they intend 
to state that a terrorist group armed with a nuclear weapon has entered the United States and that they plan to detonate this device in one of our cities. Okay, I mean, Operation Blackjack, sounding familiar to you? I mean, it, it, it's all tenuously linking up and... Um, oh, I really wanted to end with a scripture, but it, 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 it's not... It hasn't, it's, it's not coming straight to my head, but it, it's about um, the devil coming down with great wrath because he knows he has but sh a short time. And um, if the if the, uh, the 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 markers, the time markers, are anything to go by, boy, this man has been rushing to complete this stuff as fast as possible. Okay, the lies are so bad on TV now; it's almost embarrassing. The lies are. So, but but this the embarrassing lies go hand in hand with the desperation, and the um, the timetable. Remember the um, execution of uh, um, Bin Laden and the photograph in the Situation Room. A lie. Um, what have we got? The uh, we got the uh, terrorist killing of the um, U.S. ambassador in Libya, um, which was. Obviously, a lie. It wasn't just. Uh, remember, the 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 people that killed the ambassador were the very people that America was supporting. America supports Al Qaeda. Remember that. Um, and on that note, I better take this call from my missus. Otherwise, I will not hear it. It will be trouble in my mind. She will bother me. I will put foot down like man. But she is trouble for me. So I will go, and uh, I'll pick this up at another point.